Your mind is not controlled by your mind. I am Muhammad Haris and I am a student of psychology. If you want to change your life, first you have to change yourself. If you change yourself, then you have to change your perception. I know I am here with one of the my psychologists and is also a student of English language. That's why we have been starting about another topic. It's very useful. I am a Muslim. I am here with useful topic along with Mr. Harris as a student of psychology. Mr. Psychologist, Mr. Harris, first of all, warm welcome that you have to be here. And first of all, please share me about your views and what does mean by the psychologist? Mm. Psychology, especially. Yes, thank you. Basically, psychology is a social sciences and it is totally about the study of mind, study of behavior. What is what? about psychology? It means that the one of the quotations that I used one time is totally associated with your, this field. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Okay, Mr. Harris, why were you taken admission in um, psychology? Mm. And what was the reason that you have to compare yourself, that you have to take admission in that field? Mm. I want to I want to be a psychologist because of what because of that reason psychology is uh, means I want to study human mind human nature <laughs> they check it is very human nice. behavior yes and and means how we think how we perceive things and how yes, how yes. our behavior emerges so so for that purpose I take admission in psychology well good job okay Mr uh, Mr Harris and, and by love and affection I'm calling Mr psychologist. So, for example, um, um, for example, if someone comes in front of you, so how could you judge and what he's thinking as, for example, as according to your knowledge? How could you think to another personality? On the spot, in front of... Uh, yes, for just uh, for the first impression, impression that we can call, yes. So, first of all, I, I wish to uh, observe his yes. confidence level. Yes. Then... Then his body language, yes, then his body address. Yes, body language is too much address yes. while we are yes. uh, conversation is in front yes. of you. Okay, uh, Mrs. Uh, Harris, there's, uh, what was the reason that, for example, apart from, uh, is it a group of the socials? Uh, yes. social, social, sciences. Group, social sciences. So why is it important that you have to know about the social science? Uh, science? But as, for example, you are a new student of the uh, new paradigm of technology. So what uh, is it important? Is it necessary for you that you have to must know about the human behavior? Yes, yeah, this is too much important uh, and I love to study this subject and and the one reason is that uh, I am taking admission this in this field because uh, this is that this psychology is that kind of social sciences which can be fit in any social field like <laughs> Yes, like there's forces, a very positive word yes, job. like in forces uh, mm -hmm. in social well welfare yes yes so it will give me a lot of opportunities of the job so that's why okay so could you classify how how much the branches are within in psychology yes there's a lot of branches in psychology like education psychology social psychology forensic psychology so this oh, yes so this is a lot of field in psychology okay so which one field do you most like for now which uh, which branch is most Impressed to you have to must go in further future mm, I like all the branches, but when I have to select one so I Select the social psychology because the social psychology is based on mm, based on how we uh, <laughs> how how our Means how we affected by society and how society affected Affected by us affected us and how yes. could you impressed with their yes. body language? Yes, yes. yes. But that's why so as for example social psychology okay so in for example if you give the opportunity you have you will be have take admission in uh, ms so in which psychology would you take in which field would you take admission so first of all my first priority is to take admission in social psychology means then then when i have a second chance so then i have to go in forensic psychology because forensic psychology is uh, is related to is also related Post, to the horses and yes, post -mortem, post -mortem post -mortem investigation department. Actually, forensic, I heard them from CID. Yes, <laughs> forensic, <laughs> forensic, yes. Forensic, yes, that's why. So, so why the forensic uh, psychology is associated with that field? 
How is it uh, uh, connected? As for example, in postpartum, it is totally consist by uh, by the surgeon. For example, the surgical doctor they can identify from where they being died or from where they use the medicine from the what we call the bad medicine they yes. have been sucked and then he become died. That's why. Okay, and Mr. Harris, that uh, as for example, uh, why you are selected uh, forensic psychology? Because forensic psychology is also related to forces, but. Uh, the forensic psychologists are, are not involved in the means, means in involved crime, in the in crime uh, studies in crime conditions. Yes, these are uh, forensic psychologists, and and these are finding the evidence to a uh, in evidence for a forensic lab. Oh, yes, yes, uh, yes. A forensic doctors. Okay, they forens are, actually yes. there is, is a kind of the helper for yeah, them. It's yes. help out into yes. to identify the uh, identify what Ident we call the. Um, uh, mm. They do the surveys, investigation, yes. observation. Yes, identify or, for the yes. what we call mudremo. Yes. Okay, uh, for uh, guilty, yes. there. guilty, yes, that's why they yes. can easily identify. Yes. It helps in forensic lab to the or uh, to the doctors. Yes, yes. yes. So As for example, uh, psychiatrist and psychologist. Yes. Okay, and uh, what is the difference between the psychiatrist and psych clinical psych uh, psychologist? Uh, there is a, a main reason is that psychiatrists <coughs> can prescribe a medicine, but a psychologists can't. This can't. is the, uh, the, the main difference. The main common difference. As for example, as you are a clinical psychologist, so uh, you are also know about the medicine of it. Yeah. So could you prescribe? I in prescribe, that condition? <laughs> no, I don't prescribe because it will be illegal. But when I mm, do, that's uh, why illegal. It will yes, be. Mm. yes, but when I do a diploma in psychopharmacology, so then I allowed to and then I free to prescribe a medicine but, but but could you just describe the narcotics medicine rather as for example that I have some of the problem that I am communicating by itself okay so what kind of medicine could you prescribe or you as you did actually that I am consider yourself that you are a student as you are a yeah. student of the MS yeah. so that's why I am asking this kind of question okay and the last question is very important for you and it's very far as for example how could you as for example you studied two years in my view you studied two years so how much you how much you command on your subjects i have a little bit command but i uh, and especially your desire uh, social psychology and desire branch yes in desire branch uh, my desire branch is uh, man dark psychology i study Dark psychology. dark psychology means the antisocial personalities. I search up, uh, I search and and I like to study that kind of people. Mean the antisocial behavior, and this is also in a in okay. our social psychology. Means okay. to search that people the antisocial. Uh, okay, so inshallah we will discuss uh, next time about the dark psychology. But the very the one of the question now the question is rising here. The anti-social psychology, personality, what does mean this one? The anti-social behavior means uh, the behavior which are against the society means means do violence, uh, break do violence. the rules, break oh, the laws. Yeah. So we are also affected from this violence. Yes. And nowadays, for example, uh, as I'm also a writer and you are also, we are not the engaged of the traffic rules. Yes. So is it comes under the social behavior? Yes. Uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, these antisocial behaviors uh, comes to an extreme level, and then oh, and then yes. they will become a serial killer. The mm. the high level of okay. Criminals. For example, if we if we cross the limitation in that field, so then we will come under the antisocial yes. psychology. Yes. Right? and the, and they are not a mentally normal person. They will be mm. a, a, a disabled dis person. Yes, a personality disorder yes. results. So. Yes, yes. After. Uh, after reach to extreme level, we can diagnose these people as a personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder. Well, okay. For example, if you, if he or she will reach an extreme level, yes. then you identify is it a antisocial behavior? Rather, you can be, you can uh, identify before the reaching. No, we can. Identify. If he reach, if he or she reach the extreme level, then you identify. Rather, you could identify before the reaching. When in we, which stage could you identify? When we have to search, uh, means when we have to search about the antisocial behavior, so we have a psychological rules regulation like DSM-5, DSM-5 is one of our book. Um, from the help of this book, we can 
means we can uh, judge the antisocial personality as a means we can diagnose these personalities as a antisocial personality disorder so we have a lot of categories when a person personality is related to means means normally for personality disorder we have uh, seven traits uh, seven symptoms so when when an individual relates uh, minimum three of the symptoms so we can diagnose him as a personality disorder Okay, so could you describe those three uh, symptoms with us? Yes, these Is are a personality disorder. Yes, these are a lack of remorse, uh, lack of empathy. Remorse means yes, Bardash. yes, the tolerance, yes, yes, to uh, low tolerance, lack of remorse, aggression, frustration, mm -hmm. impulsiveness. Yes, these are, but uh, is the very base of it, foundation yes. of these personality disorder. Yes, base of it, but uh, we have the two rules. Means that uh, means we have to take care of two things the first one is the all these symptoms have at extreme level means yes, yes aggression but at extreme level impulsiveness but at extreme level and the second the one limitation is extreme here yes and okay. yeah. uh, these habits were reached to the uh, extreme level then we call personality uh, disorder then the second rule is uh, he must have uh, means his age is must uh, high than 18 not 18? not under 18 years okay uh, Yes, for example, uh, personality disorder will become when we cross the 18 years. Yes, we cross the 18 So, can years. we affect from this uh, personality disorder? Yes, As for example, we are also the about the 18 years. Yes, we also have these type of symptoms, but, but we don't have at extreme level. Yes. Because yes. the antisocial uh, anti personal, personality disorder ratio is means 1%. Out okay, of hundreds. Okay, out of So there is very severe. Uh, severe cases. Yes, yes, yes in severe right. cases. Good job. Actually, <clears throat> actually, the today we were discussing about uh, discussion about the psychology. As for example, he's also student of psychology, but he's also student of mind about the English language. He's also learning for that. So actually, inshallah, on daily basis, uh, and we get we were going to be coming with useful topic regarding our psychology and its branches and how much is important and how much is we how much is important to know about ourselves and especially as everybody want to change ourselves as for example personality developments what are the traits and what are the treatments to reduce our frustration and reduce our stress level and how we can manage our uh, what we call the angry management's aggressive tone so inshallah on daily basis on in a week we will discuss about these topics so stay tuned with us see inshallah with useful lecture best of luck assalamu alaikum